Hello everyone, welcome back to TechTo.com. In this lecture, we will study conservative two-phase locking protocol. So in last lecture, we studied basic two-phase locking protocol where we faced few problems and the problems were that we were getting deadlock situation and we were also getting cascading rollback. Okay, apart from it, of course, there was a weight involved due to early locking of the data item. Okay. Here conservative protocol is conservative in nature or selfish in nature which requires all the data item or all the variables to be locked before it even starts the transaction. So it means that you have to do an early prediction of how many data item you are going to use. Okay. So let's say if in a transaction okay, T, T1 if it has to use A, B, C, D, all these data items, okay. So, this transaction T1 will request, request lock on all A, B, C, D, okay. It will request lock on all A, B, C, D and if this lock is granted, then the operation will be started and if the lock is not granted, then it will wait and wait for the, this request to be granted until then the transaction or the operations of the transaction will not start okay so uh, if you want to draw this in a diagram it's something like so to represent this uh, two phase locking protocol constructive two phase lock locking protocol you can use uh, draw diagram like this so here in this situation we don't have any growing phase okay so let's write it down we do not have we do not have any growing phase in this situation okay so transaction starts okay when all the locks are granted okay so first all the locks has to be granted and then transaction will start now in shrinking phase transaction will keep on unlocking the data okay and then transaction ends so it unlocks the data then performs some read write uh, any anything then another unlock and so on okay so in between it can have some operation like read read let's say b okay something like this so this is the representation now as all locks are already acquired before transaction starts so we can understand that this kind of locking protocol will not have deadlock situation so this particular lot locking protocol is deadlock free okay but the practical implementation is basically difficult this is because you know when you start this transaction before that you have to ac acquire all the locks right it means that you have to estimate all the data which is going to be used into this transaction okay so this early predic prediction makes it difficult to implement right and if we talk about cascading rollback so still this protocol doesn't talk anything about commitment of the data that is when the data is being committed or the data which is going to be read is already committed or not right so in this case also we can have cascading rollback Okay, so these are the three main problems with this locking protocol. In next lecture, we will study strict 2PL to avoid this cascading rollback. Okay, so see you in the next lecture. If you have any doubt so far, please go to techtoad.com and ask your doubt. We will be happy to answer. So see you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.